Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part seven of the 1881 live stream by Owen Benjamin. I don't like injustice. Honest to God, I don't. I can be funny and all that stuff. But like most blacks aren't murderers <laughs> or rapists. You know, uh, now murder and rape in America. Eh, I'm not going to say rape. There's some creepy ass uh, soy rapes happening by, by the whites. Mexicans are super fucking rapey too. But um, I'm not going to say the blacks are the mur- are doing like all the blacks are murderers, but I'm going to say most of the murders are done by blacks. All right. Uh, and, and I think it's that combination between their immoral culture and that like hyper aggression. And guys, everything I'm saying is obviously true. Okay. It's really like 0.05 to 160. Yeah. Yeah. It's a small group. That's one of the problems with Owen is that no matter what he's talking about, he always uses that absolute. I'm speaking facts. Everything that I'm saying is absolutely true. No matter if it's true or not. And that's, that's one of my biggest problems with him, besides the fact that he's a dangerous, predatorial, investment scamming cult leader, is that he the, the techniques that he uses in order to, to accomplish the things that he wants, which is spreading the perverted gospel of Owen Benjamin in order to be able to conduct a praise and worship service once a year at the Bertarian Festival, the cult fest in Missouri, Texas County, Missouri where a lot of the cult members reside. They live there, like Permi Bear, probably one of the slimiest um, cult members that I've seen on camera. He had a slave who he called Hey Boy. So the dude had three names. He had his birth name. He had a bear name. And then he had a slave name, Hey Boy. But, but every pyramid needs the big base. If their culture wasn't so fucking horrible, that little group wouldn't be doing as much. It's a pyramid. So, like, you have a lot of blacks signing off on victim consciousness where, you know, they build America and they're owed an apology and slavery's still real and everybody's racist. That's millions and millions and millions. Okay. Also, that, that like, criminal – and then you have another layer that's, like, into crimes. You know, they might not be, like, doing a lot, but they're, like, into it. They're, like, man, I did some dirt. You know, I, like, like my homie uh, Poofty, or it's like, oh, Pookie, yeah, Pookie did some dirt and he hid it in my house for a bit. And then Pookie, you know, you got like those guys, millions of them. And then you have like hundreds of thousands of gang members, which is a lot. And like, and like criminals, but they're not, they're not like that group. I'd say there's probably like, I don't know, I'm just making up numbers right now, but I do see the pyramid. Five to 10,000 that are killing tons of people and doing tons of crime. You know, like if they're let out of prison for a week, they kill someone else. And that's, uh, you know, like the Bernie Madoff type, like in the Jew world, it's banking fraud. So it's like, so you have a lot of Jews, like Toronto Jew Bear is like, I don't even know if I put him in the pyramid because he's such a good fucking guy and he doesn't have victim consciousness. Uh, okay, huge base of Jews. Who? Jew world, it's banking fraud. So it's like, so you have a lot of Jews, like Toronto Jew Bear is like, I don't uh, even know if I put him in the pyramid because he's such a good fucking guy and he doesn't have victim consciousness. Uh, okay, huge base of Jews that feel persecuted because of the Holocaust. They're paranoid. They're like... I think Toronto Jew Bear is part of the Bertarian Intelligence Group from what I understand. And if you want to see kind of what the Bertarian Intelligence Group does, um, I was pinning their – I'm not even – nope. Just check out the comment section and see some of the the spammed comments. You know, they're a little shysty with business, but nothing crazy. And then you go up that pyramid too. So that giant base allows that – you know, like the Soros and the Madoffs, like it allows those guys to do so much damage because their own community supports it. It's just layers of it. You know, like the average Jew isn't doing a uh, global financial enslavement scheme. You know, like 97% probably are barely aware it's happening. But that behavior of the victim consciousness, of hood spa life, of like trying to fuck each other over in, in business, that allows the next layer, that allows the next layer, that allows the next layer. And it's very similar with the blacks. So most blacks are not engaging in these hyperviolent crimes, but the culture allows it to just keep going up. Okay? And guys, it's so obviously true. Um... Uh, Oh, you did that rape it. Okay, so anyway, this is what I was uh, saying. Gun violence stats are racist. They literally are, which isn't a bad thing. Just because something is racist doesn't mean it's wrong. It has nothing to do with income at all. It's true. See, and that's just that's just retarded right there. Stats, truth, facts can't be racist. And the only reason why he's using that is to, I mean, what would be the argument? There's a reason why Ben Shapiro says facts don't care about your feelings. Facts can't be racist. I w- if there's somebody out there that thinks that the facts are racist, I would like to know why. But statistics, facts, the way things appear. 
That's how. Yeah, I don't agree with him saying it that way. That's race. And deep down, everyone knows it, but they don't want to be viewed as mean. It's so cowardly and pathetic. If I was going to make fun of whites, it's how fucking pathetic and cowardly they are. It's like we all know this is true. And one of the reasons why he says that white people are pathetic and cowards is because the majority of the bears are white and he views the bears as weak, pathetic, cowardly people. And that's one of the things that blows my mind about this cult is that they sit there and they take all of this abuse, call it humor. And because it is, it's verbal, spiritual, mental abuse from Owen Benjamin on the daily and if you don't jump whenever he says jump and whenever I say that, what I mean is when you don't give him money that he feels like he is owed from you, he cusses you out and says, F you and the Lord. <laughs> and then the same people, because they have the bear goggles on, that that obscure reality, that's one of the reasons why he talks the way he does. That's one of the reasons why I speed it up. But he he uses certain words. He talks the way he does and obviously lies in order to um, give energy to those bear goggles and allows the cult members not to see him for who he is. And you call that wizardry, you could call that whatever, but it's it's really it's um, manipulation and psychology, I would say. Knowing how the majority of people are and because his dad was a professor of rhetoric, from what I understand. And so that's one of the reasons why he's such a successful cult leader and has gotten away with it for as long as he has. OK, and then Goldstein uh, said this is correct. Years ago, I downloaded and studied decades of stats from the FBI website to try and understand this issue. Weapons laws don't noticeably impact the murder rate. The factor with the strongest correlation to murder rate was the percent of a state's population that is black. That's a fact. It was almost perfectly aligned, like every community, every area. How much murder? I don't know. How many blacks are there? And again, I've done. And uh, to, to, <laughs> there's certain phrases that he says that I wish that I could just click and say, you can no longer say that anymore. Say it in a different way or don't say it at all. Like the word like is one of those. And that's a fact. I would, I would <laughs> thoroughly enjoy if he never could say those things ever again, but still try to communicate his uh, thoughts effectively to his audience a lot in this stream to let you know that i am not saying blacks are born bad that you have traits you have predispositions but morality is not genetic it's not genetic and the, and the very things that can make them so hyper violent could make them lethal in business if they had strong morality okay uh, i'm sure you could break down different black communities and find trends that are more specifically responsible for such violence the only thing that weapons laws did impact was suicide rate Estates with laws that mandate a waiting period on gun purchases had a slightly lower suicide rate. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting that the one good thing about mandatory, I'm actually okay with, uh, with that. Or if you have to wait a few days before buying a gun, because that could save people from committing suicide. Um, that's, that's, that's actual data that I understand. And a lot of it has to do with schooling. It has to do with culture. Uh, like, let me, uh, like, let me show you something that my son did today in homeschool. So the not classical is, uh, is positive. Did I not just do that screen recording? I fucking just did a screen recording. Yeah, one second. That I was not raised with. I was not raised with this at all. And uh, I think a lot of whites battle depression, nihilism, pointlessness, puckery, you know, atheism. And uh, like, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, this is Wally Bear. This is weird. I just screenshot. Did he just call his son Wally Bear? Oh, here it is. And so today's learning. Wait, yeah, I try to stay away anything. Those little things. You know, anything to do with his family, I try to stay away from it. Why? Because he does that. He'll flat out say, I'm not going to attack this dude's family and then turn around and attack the dude's family. He's a weak, pathetic excuse for a for a, a human being, not to mention a man. <laughs> He's just a dirty, rotten scoundrel. Was it high impact flicks? The next live stream that he did he did with uh gardner or whatever some dude that drinks his pee and very questionable it's just one of the only reasons why anybody would ever bring up gay or homosexual stuff talking about owen is because owen spe spews so much hatred 
towards them and says so many gay things that it's just a very confusing, very confusing environment. The the bear cult, really, because like I said, he's gotten better since the whole Curtis Stone thing. But not really. <laughs> he still says some of the verbal pornography and whatnot. Um, what was the, where was I going with that? I don't know. We can't fix the, all we can do is the best job in our families, in our communities, at our job. You know, it's like, Oh, we- I was saying the, the high impact flicks directly after that fiasco of him, just completely and utterly embarrassing himself. Um, was I think the next live stream, he said, I'm not going to attack the dude's family. I'm not blah, blah, blah. And then he flat out brings up his daughter. That's how weak and pathetic this dude, this Owen Benjamin is. Attacking somebody else's family because you look like a freaking fool. Not even because of him. He was cool, calm, and collected. Try to answer questions. Owen didn't uh, appreciate how he was answering those questions, so he wouldn't leave it alone. No, I ask you a question. You answer it the way I want you to answer it. Why? Because that's what my cult does <laughs> and my echo chamber. I'm a king, but with the accountability of an infant. Like the Tikam Olam or whatever, like the, the Jew thing about healing the world, I think it's pretty destructive because people are like, okay, we got to heal the black. We just got to give them the same opportunities as, uh, as the white. It's like, how the fuck are we supposed to do that? All we can do is speak the truth and help as much as we can. But it's like, you know, it's just too daunting. All we have to do is speak the truth and help out as much as we can. It's almost as though he has like split personalities because whenever he's talking like that, if you just knew that part of it, and this is, I think this is his, his, uh, this has got to be, I think that it's intentional because he tries to be a little bit for everybody. And so that's one of the reasons why so many people listen to him for so long before they realize that he really was a sack of garbage, that he really was a dangerous predatorial cult leader, that he really is racist, that he really does hate the members of his cult. One of the ways that people were able to look past all of that is for moments like this. Whenever it appears as though he's being sincere and saying something that is universally true or got a little bit of nugget of truth to it, so that way, whenever you're passively listening, your ears perk up because he's saying stuff that you agree with. And then whenever he starts yelling and all that kind of stuff, you kind of tune him out a little bit the way you would uh, if you're cleaning your house or doing something and you got kids in the background just bickering. You tune him out after a little bit. But you can hear your ears perk up whenever it either goes silent or something sounds as though it's going something's going wrong. So our job at this point is speak the truth and do the best job as our as our as as um as parents as community members in our job and speak the truth. Okay, so I want to. He fumbled over his words a little bit with that, so I want to see exactly what he was saying. But it's like, you know, it, it's just too daunting. So our job at this point is speak the truth and do the best job as our as our as as um as parents as community members in our job. Oh. It seems as though he was going to say, as our parents did, but he couldn't say that. There are some, uh, I haven't watched those videos in a long time, but I used to watch videos of professional um, body language experts breaking down different interviews and stuff, and then like professional psychologists, psychiatrists, Breaking down certain things. And that's another aspect. One of the reasons why I do this, do these videos, and it's an enjoyable-ish hobby for me, is because it's so interesting. One of my old channels, I had so many videos about cult leaders and and all that kind of stuff. And I can't believe I did a lot of those whenever during the pandemic. And I cannot believe I did not come across any video calling Owen out because there has been for years. There's been people doing videos on this guy being a dangerous predatorial cult leader years. 
And I scoured the internet looking for obscure, hidden, secret cult leaders. I can't believe I never came across them. And speak the truth with kindness, you know, where it's like, I know I come across what? too daunting. So our job at this point is speak the truth and do the best job as our, as our, as, as, um, as parents, as community members and our job and speak the truth with kindness, you know, where it's like, I know I come across as racist as fuck, but it's true. And I'm not saying a race as more or less. He's such a, he's such a jack wagon, dude. He speaks so much horse and speak the truth with kindness. And I know I come across racist, but it's true. <laughs> like what dude, what, what are you talking about, man? Speak the truth with it, him talking, him trying to say, do the best that we can, just like our parents did, is what it appears as he was going to say. And he physically couldn't say it. Um, as parents, as community members, and our job, as much as we can. But it's like, you know, it, it's just too daunting. So our job at this point is speak the truth and do the best job as our, as our, as, as, um, as parents, as community members and our job and speak the truth with kindness, you know, where it's like, and it's sad, man. I, there is a very sad nature to this story. There really is the story of Owen Benjamin. It's not just look at this dangerous, pathetic piece of crap, human being. It's a little bit like that because I mean, you call a spade a spade, but you, I don't think it's a healthy thing to do to remove to remove the humanity of the situation. That right there, him not even being able to, because he is a liar. He can lie. That's for sure. That's provable that he can lie. He has the capability of lying. But that he couldn't even say that his parents did a good job, just like our parents did. That's that is so sad. There is a genuine, true sadness to this situation in multiple ways. You know, it's just too daunting. So our job at this point is speak the truth and do the best job as our as our as as um, as parents. As see, I see that and I see just a small, broken child. Community members and our job. And speak the truth with kind. But then you zoom out and you realize, I mean, it sucks, but I mean, that's really no excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but I, that it really isn't. At a certain point, no matter what people do to you, you, you can either choose to be good or be bad. He'll tell you, you can either choose to be a shepherd or uh, something over or <laughs> something over evil men, which is uh, that's him saying, well, if you break down what he says, you have two options. You can either be a shepherd or a. I can't remember the word that he uses, something over evil men, but it literally breaks down to when you look at him, you either have to call him a shepherd or yourself evil. You know, where it's like. I know I come across as racist as fuck, but it's true. And I'm not saying a race has more or less morality or more or less favor with God. You know, someone said that in my uh, comments and I reacted. Uh, someone said, oh, we're talking about Jews. They literally believe they're God's chosen people. It's not just some religious idiom for them. It's a worldview. They see themselves as the Ubermensch, the rulers of all people. We should do the same. Our weakness is their strength. And I said... They do see themselves that way, but I view it as a weakness. I'm not the ruler of all people. The fact they feel accomplished and just the ruler over some. Because <laughs> he's definitely a cult leader. He, he definitely is a cult leader. That's for sure. That's provable. He calls himself the king of Bertaria, so he rules over Bertaria. There are definitely members of Bertaria, the ones with the bear goggles, that do not see him for the slithering snake that he truly is. 
truth doesn't really matter to this man. This <laughs> person. Depressed by their blood makes them weak, not strong. If you view it genera- if you view it generationally, like take a step back and look at these uh, Ubermensch. They get very weak very quickly, and then they implode from their self-perceived unearned birthright. You can see it with the pharaohs, or you can see it with like Austrian bloodlines or the royal family. When you think that you have a right to rule others just because of your blood, not your character, not your uh, your spirit, not not what other people want. You know, when other people consent to your rule. Okay, so yeah, sped it up whenever because he's talking about himself. Because he, he he definitely believes that he has been elected to be the king of Bertoria, but it's really just a cultivation intentionally brought on by him. Or one, view it generationally. Like take a step back and look at these uh, Ubermensch. They get very weak very quickly, and then they implode from their self-perceived unearned birthright. You can see it with the pharaohs. Or you could see it with like Austrian bloodlines or the royal family. When you think that you have a right to rule others just because of your blood, not your character, not your uh, your spirit, not not what. Okay, so he's justifying his own want to rule over people because he thinks that he has a right to. That's the reason that that's the only logical reason why he would word it that way and and say the things that he said. When you think that you have the right to rule over people just based on your bloodline and not because. So, okay. (laughs) The fact that there's any kind of justifiable reason why someone would believe that they had the right to rule over people is kind of a weird thing. To feel like you have the right to. So he feels as though he has the right to rule over people. Because of his character, because of his spirit, even though it's quite clear the type of character he has, and it's quite clear the type of spirit that he has. Other people want, you know, when other people can. What? It was like Austrian bloodlines or the royal family. When you think that you have a right to rule others just because of your blood, not your character, not your. Uh, your spirit, not not what other people want. You know, when other people consent to your rule or want you to be a ruler, you know, that's why I did that that uh, special, the reluctant. He he tries to. Oh man, not whenever other people want you to do that. It's all about the consent thing that he continuously preaches. They have to get your consent in order to abuse you. He says that because he has to. Not whenever they want you to be a ruler. <laughs> That's probably one of the most frustrating because it's true whenever people say, why, like, why do you even care? They're grownups and grownups can be grownups. Yeah, but you can also be persuaded. Right? There, there's a reason why you need training in order to save someone for, from drowning there's a reason why this is on the internet and I'm not physically out there doing something to save people from this cult. Okay. Because first of all, I have zero training in order to save people from a cult. There's a physical detachment, but as a hobby, I can definitely try to point out the obvious lies of this dangerous predatorial cult. Just because of your blood, not your character, not your uh, your spirit, not not what other people want. You know, when other people consent to your rule or want you to be a ruler, you know, that's why I did that that uh, special, the reluctant warlord. Because I have a little of that. I wasn't. I'm not naturally alpha. I'm not naturally the type that leads communities, but I've been asked to, and I'm good at it. And it was my time to do that, and so I've accepted. Okay, so it's really important to know, Tate, that he wasn't ever asked to be a cult leader. He wanted to be a cult leader, so he cultivated a culture that accepts that. And now he continuously rewrites history in order to cultivate this culture of a cult for him so that he could be a cult leader. 
There's so many people out there, so many people out there that create new identities and, and whatnot, and their entire identity is false. And they, they live whatever life they want to because they created that. It's so interesting to hear him say that that whole thing where it, where, it, where it started off. You shouldn't you shouldn't uh, feel the right to rule over people unless it's based on your character and your and plus if people want you to, I mean, you got to give it to them. There are comments that I've seen, and I used to interact with them a little bit, but I've decided there's comments, and I know that it's joking. I know that it's joking, and I wish that I could joke with it a little bit. Not really. I mean, I, I, I appreciate jokes, okay? But there there has been comments where people have said, hey, can I be godified as this or a variation of being verified? And that's one of the that's one of the problems with Owen is that he ruins so many things just because he if he touches it, it's got human feces on it. It doesn't even have to be human. It's got feces on it. He, some people touch things. They got the golden touch. He's got the the fecal touch. He ruins things. And that's one of the reasons why there's a I would call it a healthy argument that he is. um uh, what would you call it? An asset to just disrupt? There's a possibility for that. Or he could just be a dangerous, predatorial cult leader. It's like, I would never be like, because of my blood, I'm... All right, so 26 minutes in. Um, I did this one longer just because I've got things to do. And so I might not be able to come back and do any more videos. So... As always, till next time.